Hello guys, I am back. In the previous video, we have learned how to fill a shape with using the flat fill function. We were also able to change the default fill style and color using the set fill style function. Just like that, the graphics library also provides us with a set line style function, which helps us to achieve the same with the, bo the borders of the shapes like rectangles as well as lines. So, in this video, we shall learn about the set line style function. And let's get started. As usual, created a new file and named, this, uh, named it as linestyle.c, thus matching what is going to be covered in this video. Now, in order to understand what are the various styles av available as part of the graphics library, we can, we can print all the lines with different line styles and for that we can use a for loop to cycle through various line styles and print uh, various lines according to the line styles. For that we require the, lines, the line function as well. You can also change the line style in each iteration. I hope that you are, you are familiar with the for loops and constructs like that. As I have said in the pre prerequisites, you should be familiar with the basic basic C constructs like loops and conditions and like some, some stuff like that. And now let's discuss about the set line style function. The set line style function is similar to the set fill style function that we have discuss discussed in the previous video. As as discussed, the set fill style function is uh, used to customize the way in which um, the shapes, shapes are being filled. Now, this is the same as in the case of set line style function as well, except that it does not fill the shape, but it controls the way in which the, the borders look like in the case of rectangle function. And for the, for the lines, it customizes the way in which lines look like. Now let's talk about the parameters of the set line style function. Now it takes three parameters and the first parameter is the, the line style. Second parameter is the user pattern. Third parameter is the th thickness. Now for the uh, set line styles we have almost five line, st line styles available like centered, dotted, dashed and, uh, and for, uh, for the last uh, we, we are having a user defined style as well. We can either supply the, uh, the parameter as, in, as the name of the style or as the values ranging from the ranging from 0 to 4. Now for the second parameter, the user pattern, we, we can either, uh, it doesn't have much significance unless the line style is set to the, uh, the, is set to the user defined style. Now if the very first parameter that is the set li line style is set to the value 4, um, the second parameter has some significance otherwise just leave it as the value is zero the third parameter is the thickness and you can give a, any value as per your convenience now now let's start uh, start uh, start uh, start supplying the parameters and for the very first parameter we shall give us the loop control variable since we are iterating through the various line styles and uh, the second parameter just leave it as zero and thickness maybe two now let's define a loop. The loop control variable is starting at 0 up to 4 incrementing. Now let's draw a line as well to demonstrate the various line styles available. Now for that we require two variables as well. Let's define x and y. Now the initial value, initial value of x may be 100 and that of y may be 50 for the sake of convenience. Now, in case you forgot, the line function takes four parameters and draws a line. Now, these first two parameters are the x and y coordinates of the initial point and the next two parameters are the x and y coordinates of the terminal point. Now, let's supply the parameters to the line as well. So, x and uh, y be the initial point. Now, x and y means 100, 100, the point 150. Now, the second point be uh, the terminal point be x plus 200 that is 300 and uh, y mm, now let's increment y by 25 on each iteration so that the the lines have a space in between them and uh, we need also to declare the loop control variable as well i think now it's almost perfect compile it and run it as you can notice we have the various line styles in front of us now, uh, there are five line styles, but only four are visible. The very first line style that is zero is not, not visible. That is, a, what to say, a blank blank style, something like that. 
Now we have all other four styles available in front of us, like as I have mentioned before, the dotted, the dashed, centered, and stuff like that. I hope that it is clear to you what are the various styles available, and hope, and I also hope that I, I was able to cl clarify the idea about the set line style function. Now we can experiment with these function, use uh, use different parameters, and uh, and that's all for this video, and as usual.